as you know, I'm African, and I'm going to be showing you something long and hard, something big, something huge. <laughs> I'm of course talking about the newest addition to my kitchenware. Look at that, my custom mini machete. Did you say he has a knife? Oh my god, he has a knife! <gasps> I am hyperventilating. What is, this, what is this cloth even doing there? <sighs> Wait, that's not a knife. This, this is a knife. Come here, you little. I hope you enjoyed that little introduction. Uh, <laughs> I put my heart into it. Don't be mean. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, some. These are uh, minced beef uh, cutlets and pork sausage cutlets. But some of these are vegan, as you can see here. This is a vegan one. But I'll show you that in a later vlog. Today it's just beef and uh, sausage cutlets. Look at that. <laughs> it's ridiculously insane. Okay, it can't be ridiculously insane. But it's insanely good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So, without further ado, let me show you how to make this at home. Okay. Hmm. Hello everyone. Welcome to Michael Pibos Therapy. On the menu today is potato cutlets and I'm going to cook them two ways. Um, beef uh, potato cutlets and pork potato cutlets. So here we have some pork sausage and min minced beef. These are bell peppers, these are green bell peppers, these are yellow bell peppers, I just cut them into strips. This is minced uh, shallots, this is grated carrots, finely grated, this is uh, crushed tomatoes. Here we have, um, this is crushed garlic, this is uh, chopped ginger, this is uh, rosemary, this is fennel, this is coriander. I just cut them nicely. This is minced, uh, sorry, mashed potatoes, and this is a pea flour, salt, paprika, uh, mixed spices, and uh, this is baking soda. Sorry, baking powder. And that's all you're going to need to make potato cutlets two ways. So the first thing I'm going to do is first prepare the sausage stuffing, the pork stuffing. This pork sausage with my mini machete. <laughs> my machete. Danny Treasure will be proud of this. Just uh, cut the sausages into like round, uh, you know, balls or something. Like this. See? And then toss them into a frying pan. So as the sausages uh, get browned over there, you deal with your with your mashed potatoes. This is the, the actual cutlet now. And we need it to have maximum flavor. So I'm cutting this uh, fennel. And uh, let me take a bit of this rosemary. Remove it from the stem. Like such. And just cut it into small, you know, manageable pieces. Yeah. That was the side. Now, all of this is going into the mashed potatoes. The coriander, this uh, fennel, and then this machete is huge. <laughs> and uh, just a little bit of uh, minced Shallots, just a little, you know, and the carrots, the finely grated carrots in there. A little bit of salt, you'll find the exact uh, measurement in the, in the description. And it will really help out right now if you hit that subscribe button. So the sausages are browning nicely. Now, some paprika, just a little. Around. Some cayenne, I normally eyeball this thing, and some mixed spices, just a little bit of each, you know. Now back to the, the sausage, see it's gotten that nice brown color in some areas. This stuffing is going to be really good. And some of these bell peppers, the yellow. And some of the green bell peppers. I 
Hi, Mr. Mr. Oteza. Together with some season. And of course, you know how much I love cayenne. <laughs> there. Now, as that continues, we get in here with our hand and mix this up. So this are finely mashed potatoes. Just mix it with your hands. Use clean hands though. The mash is mixed. Now, uh, let's take a little bit of this crushed tomatoes and pop them in there. You know, we want uh, a cutlet that's not only uh, nice and delicious, we want it uh, also juicy inside. You know, the problem is people make cutlets that are not really uh, juicy. So, a little bit of garlic in there. The rest of this will be going to the uh, beef meat. And let this sweat down a little. This chili. Okay, like 10 minutes in, this, uh, this sausage stuffing is ready. Now, put it to the side. Now, we have to deal with our beef mint uh, stuffing. So this is just like a, a little bit, like, like almost half a pound of beef. And let that break down. See, the pan has, still has that sausage, this delicious flavor of the sausage. Let that break down with some salt. And, of course, some cayenne. <laughs> I love cayenne. Okay, now once the, the minced beef has browned a little, toss in your chopped garlic, ah, sorry, your chopped ginger and your chopped garlic, of course. The rest of your onions, the rest of these bell peppers, and the rest of this crushed tomatoes. Then, of course, I'm going to put, you're supposed to wait a little for it to sweat down before you put in the mixed spices. Better use your favorite old spice. But for purposes of the vlog, I'll do it right now. Then I'll chop the rest of my fennel. I love fennel. <laughs> it's really delicious. Onto the mini machete. <laughs> and into that. It's gonna have a lot of flavor. Now let this sweat down. On high heat. It's, this kitchen smells really good right now. <laughs> As you can see, this beef mince has it's juicy, nice and juicy, which means that the potato cutlet will be juicy inside. So, this is ready. The sausage is also ready. That onto a plate somewhere. And then on to the dredge now. For that, we're going to need uh, some turmeric, a tablespoon in that, some paprika, a tablespoon in that, tablespoon of, again, cayenne. <laughs> uh. And this, the rest of this all spice. Because we want the dredge to also have a nice flavor. And then season it with some salt. And then, little by little, pour in the water to make this butter. I had forgotten this first. <laughs> Please excuse me. A teaspoon of, just measure it out, a teaspoon of... Uh, baking powder in that to make it puff up you know yeah now continue okay now as you can see this is the consistency we wanted with that uh, dread so all of these are flavor 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 as you had seen even this uh, mash has flavor so i like using now i like using a, a little bit of clinging film because that makes it easy to transfer now just flatten this out. I think you know what's coming from here. <laughs> but these are really flavorful. Give them a nice shape. Like that. And then grab some of this uh, stuffing. And set it in the middle like that. Not too much because we don't want it to, to like break up. You know. 
Then grab this and just lay it on top like that and cover it up. Then you shape it, of course. I removed my ring. You know, I'm, I usually feel naked without a ring, but <laughs> for this mashed potatoes, this is what you need to do. Now, as you can see, this is ready to be breaded and to be buttered. Okay, after flattening them out, I'll show you a second time in case you missed it. This is the sausage, fully loaded. <laughs> can see how much I'm putting, not too much, not too, not too little. Grab this, and then stuff it, shape it nicely. Like that. Now, this is ready to be buttered and to be fried. By the way, put them in, uh, in different containers as I have done that. Because you don't, if, if you promise someone sausage, you don't want to give them a minced beef or you don't, you don't want to give them vegan. If you promise someone sausage and, you, and it gets vegan, it gets really pissed. <laughs> now, this is the messy part of this uh, vlog, of this recipe. So, you're going to grab one of them and uh, dredge them in, in this uh, butter. You know, to help protect it from breaking and stuff and into the fryer it's as simple as that this one you have to use two hands because <laughs> you don't want it to break but it won't take long because you know everything in here is already cooked be careful when you're inserting it and use an unstick I've browned up nicely like uh, five minutes in take them out of the heat because they are basically done and one of these is, is enough to, to, to satisfy a fully grown man. <laughs> that sounded wrong, but <laughs> it's true. One of them is enough to satisfy you. But let's try this. It's really hot right now. This is the vegan one. I also made vegan. This is the meaty one. Look at that. Look at how juicy it is. This is the vegan one. I also made vegan, but I'll show you that in the next in the next vlog. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, you need to go try this recipe at home, man. I kid you not. This is insane. Mm, 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 mm. It's binding me. One more bite. <laughs> mm. So, thank you so much for watching. Go try this at home. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you on the next vlog. <laughs> Later. <laughs>